डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन मीडिया वेलकम बैक गाइस ही इज स्टाइल ट्यूटोरियल फॉर अकाउंट क्रिएशन एंड दिस इज मिस्टर जी एंड लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट हाउ वी कैन यूज अ लेबोरेटरी एंड यूज एन ऑपरेशन टू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट सो नाउ एज यू रिमेंबर वी क्रिएटेड अ की पेयर अर्लियर ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट वीडियो वी'ल बी यूजिंग दैट की पेयर द अकाउंट दैट वी जनरेटेड बिफोर एंड लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द बैलेंस दैट दैट अकाउंट हैज द वन वी ऑलरेडी फंडेड and we're going to be creating a new key pair using a stellar operation now to start off let's uh, copy the public key of the already existing account and go to endpoint explorer and let's get the public key and paste it in the account id section and submit get the response so we can see that the account does exist in the testnet with 10000 lumens now let's move on to a transaction builder and for the source account we are going to be using the already existing account that we have and paste the public key in there and in stellar each account uses a i mean each transaction uses a sequence number the sequence number determines when each transaction goes into the blockchain and will give it a sequence and order and they cannot be uh, submitted to the blockchain in a different order so as you can see we fetch the sequence number from the current account in the test and there's a base fee mentioned as well is given to us and followed by the memo which can be a text hash or id mm, time bounds are basically there to say that whether you can uh, when the transaction can start and when it can end when it can be submitted now let's move on to the operations and select create account in create account operation uh, the destination would be the new key pair so let's go ahead and generate a key pair from the key pair generator so what we're going to do is copy this key pair instead of uh, funding to the friend bot like we did the last time we're just going to take the copy of this and keep it secure and we are going to fund it using the transaction builder so as you can see the destination id will be the new public key and let's give a starting balance of 100 lumens so the account will be our existing public key and we'll have to sign the transaction Once we click on the sign button, we'll require to enter the secret key of the existing account. And once we submit, it's technically a post request to the Horizon API endpoint to the testnet. And as you can see, this is the envelope XDR. It's a data structure that lets you hold all the details and operations of your transaction. it can be viewed by recording it however you cannot change the contents as it's signed now let's go ahead and submit the transaction so as you see it took around 3 to 5 seconds 5 seconds mostly in this net on the submit transaction and give us a response so we can use a new public key and query in the account endpoint and if the account does exist it means that the transaction was successful and as you can see 
the 100 lumens have been funded for this account as well. Now if we look at the hold account, we notice that the lumens have reduced, 100 lumens have reduced plus, plus the transaction fees. And within each account, you have the operations, transactions with certain links. If we go into the operations, we'll be able to identify the transactions performed by that particular account. As we can see, the first record indicates that the account was created using the friend bot. Now, this being the previous existing account that we created during our last tutorial, let's uh, compare the funder. I mean, the funder won't be here technically. Funder is the test uh, friend bot, and the account will be. So as we can see, as we can see, uh, the initial trans operation performed was the account creation funding through the friend bot itself for the already existing account, and that's the friend bot ID, yes. Followed by the account creation operation that we just performed for a new account where we funded 100 lumens and the account ID is the new account that we created. Welcome back, guys. Let's have a look at how we can get it done using the Stella SDK in Golang. Now, as you guys remember, we had a key pair that we generated earlier um, in the last video. So, I'm going to be using the same key pair. And using this key pair, uh, we're going to retrieve this particular account information. Then, from that account, uh, yet again, we'll generate the new set of key pairs that we're going to be funding. Once we have the key pair, we're going to create a operation, that is, a create account operation and build a transaction for it. So we are going to be using a testnet as you can see it here and as a time bound for 300. Then finally uh, we will be signing this transaction using the key pair of the initial account that we had and we are going to be funding 100 lumens so let's see how this code code executes okay give me a second network is undefined i think that should do it let's see As you can see, uh, the key pair that was newly generated 
in the transaction next year for the transaction that was performed and we have the response from horizon as well now let's head over to stella and have a look at this particular account using the endpoint explorer where the account is created that's the public key then we head over to Stella we can see that uh, 100 rumors were given to this particular account native assets and the account is created in the testnet thank you very much for watching this video guys please leave a like subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and the following video will be based on payment payments done in the seller network decentralization media